My, my main focus is keeping everybody in a forward motion, no matter if it's, you know, the research, tell them to go home and study for a test, I don't care. If they need something for a research project, I source it. I get it. Uh, just, it's just a daily thing, you know? I was actually one of, probably one of the lucky ones that knew that I wanted to do electrical and computer engineering. Um, when I was in high school, I used to build computers. I used to do research. Um, I mean, I built my first computer my freshman year of high school, and so I've always kind of been interested in that. So basically, I, when I talked, when I was thinking about majors, I basically just said, this is what I like doing. What can I pick that would help me to do that for the rest of my life? You can find things everywhere, but this is definitely something I knew I'd be interested, interested in. Um, in general, we're working with pulse power, and I knew back in high school I, I really enjoyed physics. And pulse power deals a lot with like you know proving physics laws, proving things like that. And it was definitely something I was interested in uh, to work with that kind of not basic but uh, proving concept ideas. It provides sufficient shielding for any uh, X-ray that they may be producing. Um, we also equip the facility with a uh, laminar low uh, ventilation system. Applying it is, is definitely something you, you think you do in the classroom, but then once you get out here and someone actually just asks you, oh, can you just build this simple thing? You're like, well, I've never actually, never actually built that, but okay. And then you, you know, it, I, you don't necessarily know how to do it. You have the background knowledge of how to do all of it, but you don't necessarily know how to implement it. And that's why it's great to have the grad students be like, well, you've done this a hundred times. Can you just tell me how to do it? And it's real, it's a simple thing, a little, a little quick fix, but um, it's definitely helpful to work out here and get a real world experience. It's, it's, it's pretty close to, it's as close to a real world experience as you can get on a campus. We've taken two 20 plus, 15 plus year old lasers uh, that have been dusty and worn down and completely torn them apart, cleaned them and rebuilt them into a working status. So that's kind of cool to see something that's not used to work, work again. Um, and we are able to use those for research purposes. All right, so what you see here is uh, I have this detector this guy right here, he's looking at the reflection off the power meter. Uh, if we were to actually hit the detector with the laser pulse, it would fry the detector really quick. So we have it watching the reflection only. Um, and you can see here, this is what the optical pulses coming out of the laser actually look like. Uh, so basically, instead of it being on all the time like a laser pointer, and it's really low power, what we do is we take all of that power and we squeeze it into one pulse that's really, really tall. And that's how we get 20 megawatts. Kind of undergraduate research is more of a track that you want to take if you're interested in graduate school. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a great track even if you're not, but the teams are also great tracks that you could take and get, it's kind of a more technical hands-on expertise, which you get that here. But in many ways, since you're working with the graduate students and working with the professors, it's kind of grooming you to be a graduate student uh, type of thing. Uh, so, you know, for me, since I now am a graduate student, that's exactly what I wanted, and, and that it was the right road for me. Um, but if you're looking to kind of just, you know, get your degree and go out into the workforce, you know, internships or, or maybe some of the teams would maybe fit that better than, uh, than undergraduate research. Coming from an undergraduate perspective, I've worked with the grad students for a long time. I know what projects, I, I kind of have a general idea of what projects are coming up. I know what I want to work on. If I hadn't done undergraduate research and I had just gone straight into grad school, I would have no idea what projects are out there, what I would really want to do. I would have had the book knowledge of going to class every day, but I wouldn't have had the same knowledge of, you know, in here, working in the machine shop, being able to fabricate stuff, knowing that this area I'm more interested in than the other area. Um, it's, I've really enjoyed it a lot. So the room contains 3.2 million pounds of concrete, 58,000 pounds of steel, and we put it together with a track hoe inside the building. Yeah, this is all built after the initial building had already been constructed. Uh, so that was another big constraint we had was it would be nice if we could just move in one wall at a time or pour it in, inside, but we weren't able to do that because we were dealing with constraints of building inside of the building. And we already had, did we have, what, we, did we, have we had already had a mezzanine up the, uh, that's above the shop. That was already in there, so we had quite a few barriers in our way. Well, I would definitely say you have to be creative, if anything else, because 
you know, a lot of the problems that we work on, they're never, never before done. So you have to understand the science and the math behind it, but yet you also have to be creative enough to come up with a solution. And sometimes there's a lot of work that's already been done out there. So you have to, you know, not infringe on patents and you have to figure out how to make your research a little bit different, but yet accomplish the same purpose. So it takes a lot of creativity and a lot of, uh, a lot of thinking uh, to be able to do. So I think creativity is one, and the other thing is definitely determined. Research is not something that is gonna go your way all the time. You're gonna get something and then you're gonna come back the next day and then it's not gonna work. And you're gonna be freaking out as like, I didn't even touch it, why doesn't it work? And you have to be able to persevere through those things and, and figure out why to get it back. I would like to see my, whatever I did continue, whether it's directly what I worked on or just a continuation of that.